my work is done. Well, hello, glue troopers. Hope everybody's having a great day. I kicked off this morning with a minor catastrophe. Broken arrow, broken arrow. We have a missing nuclear missile. I was trying to change, uh, rearrange the room, hang some different pictures. And one of my old skydiving photos from the Fort Campbell Sport Parachute Club, which is in a very heavy wooden frame, slipped out of my hand and went right into the repair desk. Thank goodness it missed the resin model my wife gave me of uh, the Ember 190, but it did take out my Florida Air National Guard F-106 and that uh, repop of the Adams uh, missile transporter helicopter, which is sad because it's kind of a rare kit. Unfortunately, some of the breakage were butt joints. I mean, I mean, they 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 broke off the the pen. So now, if I do repair them, they'll be butt joint repairs, and we all know they're really never a hundred percent. Fortunately, I have so many F one hundred six models that it's not like I'm worried about it. In fact, I wasn't even sure where I was going to put this thing. I've completely run out of shelf space. So, uh, you know, uh, what can I say? It, it happens. Modeling happens. You know, you make that mistake. But I managed to wipe out uh, more models with one picture than, uh, in fact, one could say I accomplished something the entire Russian Air Force was never able to. I took out an F-106. And the model's probably repairable, but for right now, it's just going to go in the spares bin because it's got all kinds of good pieces. And it was actually missing some parts. The nose spike was missing. I don't know where it is. I could fabricate another one of those. But now that the gear's broken off and everything, I, and I think I got all the parts swept up from behind the table. But it's just one of those things that with no place to put it on the shelf and really some some pretty bad but repairable damage I'm, uh, it was one of my better builds but i'm not really sure what i'm going to do with it could be an excuse to build a whole new one <laughs> but it's not like i don't ha already have three or four of the things but the uh the helicopter the tail rotor was missing that's what was on the repair desk i still haven't been able to find that uh again another part that could probably be fabricated but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, and uh, I think what I might do is uh, go ahead and uh, make the helicopter with a spinny rotor and a spinny tail rotor, glue the skid back on it, and then hang it up in the new Tarbis when it's uh, when we get it delivered. We'll see. But on the upside, I, at least I got the uh, setup changed. I got my dot, my Tom Daniel wall set up now, and I have my. Uh, skydiving picture set up the way they used to be back at the old house so a little taste of the familiar make this place just a little homier i am sure we have all broken models and sat back and decided you know had to make that big decision you know does it go in the spares box to be pirated for parts or do i try and fix it in fact we can make that the question of the day you know when was the last time you knocked a model off the table or something and had to make the big decision you know do i euthanize it for spare parts or do I make it stronger, better, faster? And uh, so there's something to chew on for the morning while I enjoy my cup of java. I should point out that it didn't hit the Bowmark, which is a rare original Revell kit. And uh, it scattered a few parts around, but it didn't do any damage. So that's okay. And, uh, you know, nothing really bad. My, my, my re initial reaction as my wife put it uh, so eloquently, are you going through menopause? Because I had the reaction of a three-year-old that just had his toy taken away from him for about, well, an embarrassing 30 seconds or a minute. But once I came down and realized, dude, they're broken models that are broken worse. You know, maybe just relax. <laughs> now that the initial shock's worn off and I've got the room set up a little more, I'm kind of laughing at it. It's my own clumsiness that did this. So if I want to be mad at anyone, I'll be mad at myself. But you know what? I don't want to be mad at anybody. There's, there's enough of that in the world. So now I sit back and laugh at it and look at it as an opportunity to just build something different. Well, guys, stay, and by the way, it also shortened the repair line. <laughs> So anyway, guys, uh, we'll talk at you later. Take care of yourselves. Hope you're having a great morning. 
And as always, model on. It took out the entire cast and crew of uh, Star Trek vs. Godzilla vs. Ghidorah, except for Mr. Sulu, last man standing. <laughs> There's got to be a little uh, Japanese Toho irony in that. <laughs> but they recovered quickly.